Hi, Foot Trainer Kelly Athenas here and I'm so excited to be here with Women's Health UK. I'm going to take you through a 14 minute workout that you can do anytime, anywhere, body weight and legs. So you're going to follow along with me now. So you've got circuit one and circuit two and each circuit has seven minutes in it with four exercises. Now those four exercises are a pop squat. The second exercise is a reverse lunge, then it's a double pulse squat, and then a burpee. Now circuit two, that also has four exercises and those are a lateral lunge, a glute bridge, a plank jack, and some jump lunges. Right, so before we do anything, and especially legs, we have to warm up. So what I want you to do now is follow along with this warm up. Okay, so now that we've finished the warm up, we're gonna get straight into the workout. Now, I'm going to give you the exercise, how I would do it, and then I'm gonna give you the modification. So for anyone who wants to join beginner, intermediate, advanced, I've got something for you. Let's get started. Seven minutes starts now. So your first exercise is a pop squat. So you're jumping out and back in. Now, for the ladies who need a modification, for anyone who has pelvic floor issues, I want you to follow the set reps, but here is your modification. So, you are stepping out and touching the ground and coming back in, okay? Or you can step, step, touch, and come back in. But for now, I want you to keep doing those 12 reps. All right, so when you're doing a pop squat, you're keeping your back nice and straight, you're sitting back like you'd be sitting into a chair, come down nice and slow, touch the ground and come back up. Perfect, all right, once you've done those 12 reps, we're gonna move straight into a reverse lunge. So you're coming to the top of your mat, hands on your hips, head up, you're gonna go 10 per leg. So you're gonna go back and down, and back and down. Now some of the mistakes, common mistakes, that people make when doing a reverse lunge is they think that they have to step directly behind. So if you're stepping directly behind, you're automatically gonna lose balance. So what you wanna do is stand with your hips your feet hip width apart and you're gonna step backwards or alternatively you can slide your foot back, down and back up. Now, a modification to this for the ladies who can't do a reverse lunge, you can do a static lunge on the spot. That's perfect. So you're doing 10 per leg. And now once you've done 10 per leg, we're gonna move into the next exercise. Now that is a double pulse squat. Oh, my legs are already warm. Down, down, and back up. Down, down, and back up. Again, with a squat, you can easily lose balance by dropping your knees too far inwards, which will cause you to touch down in front of you. Knees out, back in, and squeeze. Nice and balanced. 
there we go. Now you can just do a squat pulse, which means down and just pulsing. That is a modification to this. It's perfect. All right, now, see, I'm already puffed, so this is good. Okay, so we're gonna get into a burpee. Now, nobody likes a burpee. I understand that. So this is a burpee. Some common mistakes is people put their hands too far forward. So they'll lean, put their hands too far forward. They've only got a small jump back. What you want to do is as you're going down, you're putting your hands where your feet are, jumping back and jumping back in and back up. Now, I will modify this for you. So you can either do up on your tippy toes, down, walk out, walk back in, standing up, or to make it a little bit harder, you can go down, out, in, and a little jump up. Okay, now, these are the different types of burpees that you can do, choose one that suits you. This is the one that I'm doing today. All right, no one likes that. So, they are your four exercises, and we're gonna keep going. So you've got seven minutes. We have three minutes to go. Now, moving back into a pop squat, 12 reps. So, down and back up. That's it, keeping your back nice and straight, chest up. Good, well done. And then moving into your reverse lunge. Back and back up. So it is 10 per leg. Again, if you want to modify, you are wanting to do a static lunge on the spot. Again, holding onto a chair, bench, wall, anything that you've got for stability. That's perfect. Moving into that double pulse squat, 12 reps. So down, down and up is one rep. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Really push yourself through this. Well done. You should really feel your legs burning now. Down, down. Back up, doing really, really well. Again, modify this. You can just pulse on the squat, like this. And then, the part that everyone dreads, we're going straight into a burpee. Again, you can modify your burpee by up, down, walk out, walk in, and stand up. Or jump out, walk in, stand up, or Jump out, jump in, jump up. And you're doing 10 of those. You're completing 10 of those. Woo, it's hard to do this and talk at the same time. That's it. Keep up the good work. We have one minute and 26 seconds to go. Down and back up into those pop squats. 12 reps, again. Out, out, in, and down. Or across and down. These are your modifications that you can make. Once you've done your 12, moving into those reverse lunges. One minute to go, as you can hear, I'm very puffed. And this is how you should feel in your workout. Try and take nice deep breaths, chest up, head up. Really focus. Again, here you don't want to drop your knee inwards, so you don't want to do that. That's too much pressure here. Knee nice and straight, in line with your toes, and coming back. 30 seconds to go. That's it. Well done. Moving into your double pole squat. Well, we might avoid those burpees on this round. <laughs> Good, and back up. Look, I think we're gonna avoid those burpees, guys. You got nine seconds, keep going, push it out. You got five seconds, four, three, two, one, and done. I am puffing, hope you are too. That is only circuit one, we have one more circuit to go. Circuit two, and it's set up the same way.
Okay, these workouts are no joke. I'm so glad that you had a drink because we're moving straight into circuit two. So the timer starts now, seven minutes, and we're moving into a lateral lunge. Now, a common mistake with a lateral lunge is people's knees will dip inwards or too far outwards, they'll lose balance, or you'll sit too far back into it and bend too far forward. So watch me as I do lateral lunge, like so. Okay, once you have done 10 on one side, we are swapping over to the other side. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, now, if you are feeling a little off balance, you can stay with your feet apart and just do that little dip to the side. And that is a modification to this exercise. Well done, okay. Now, once you've done your lateral lunge, 10 per side, we're moving into a glute bridge, down on the ground. Okay, down on the ground, hands either side. You're gonna lift up, squeeze, and back down. Well done, everyone. So when you're doing a glute bridge, you're doing 15 of these, and back down. Now really take your time with these. What you wanna do is make sure that your knees are not collapsing inwards, they're not going too far outwards. Nice and strong, core on, up, and squeeze. You can push through your hands as well as you come up. Now this is a nice breather exercise because you're moving into a plank jack next. So once you've done your 15 reps, you're going to come up, hands on the ground. You're in a push-up position. You're going to jump your feet out and back in and every time you come in, that's one. Well done. You're going to do 20 reps. Now, if you cannot jump out and in, you can walk it out, walk it back in. Walk it out and walk it back in. Okay. Now, I want you to take some deep breaths. I want you to make sure that your wrist and your shoulder is in line when you're doing this. Once you have completed your 20 reps, you're gonna come up and jump lunges. Okay, so we're going lunge and swap. Lunge and swap. Now, this is for 20 reps. Sorry, 16 reps. This is for 16 reps. I'm being nice today. All right, now to modify this, again, you can do the same like we did in the first. You can do that static lunge. You can do a reverse lunge, or you can even stop in the middle if you want a break. So you can jump, but then stop, jump, and then stop. Now, once you've done that, again, first exercise, lateral lunge. Good. Breathing, nice and straight. Again, modifying, down and back up. Keep your head up, chest up. You're doing 10 on one side, moving over and 10 on the other side. I really want you to go at your own pace through this. I move through these exercises quite fast, but really take your time. And feel free to pause the video, take a breather, it's totally up to you. But I really would love you to work through this whole seven minutes with modifying these exercises. Moving down into a glute bridge, take a big deep breath, and up and squeeze, and back down. Up and squeeze, and back down. We're doing 15 of these, remember? Now, remember what I said before, you don't want your knees collapsing inwards, not too far outwards because you'll be wonky, nice and straight and in line, and really squeezing your glutes on the way up and squeezing at the top. Good. Like I said, going at your own pace. And once you've done 15 of those, going back into those plank jacks. Now, remember what I said, you can walk it out and walk it back in. So if you're watching me now, this is a modification, but if you're following along with me, this is the pace that I would go at, and that is out, in, out, in, out, in, in. Again, common mistakes with this. Too far this way, bum too high in the air, bum too low. You wanna remain in a push-up position when you're doing this. You have two minutes, or around two minutes to go, back up and into those jump lunges. Jump lunge, 
if you want those modifications, they are a static lunge, they are that reverse lunge, or they are that stop in the middle. And I really want everyone to feel comfortable when doing this, so please do go at your own pace. I'm not gonna stop. So jump lunge. Good, now we have, we're making good time on this. We're back to that lateral lunge. Let me fix my mat, there we go. A minute 30 to go. Chest up, head up. Good, watch that knee, you don't want it to drop in. Nice and controlled. Again, you want to do that modification on the spot. Now, remember, you don't have to go at the same pace as me. Watch how slow you can go. Really take your time. Go at your own pace. That's perfect. Once you've done those 10 per side, down to a glute bridge. Remember, center, take your really big deep breath and up and back down. Up, squeeze and back down. That's it. Go your own pace. Use this time to take a few deep breaths. You are on your back. You can take a few deep breaths. Really concentrate on that squeeze. 30 seconds to go. Moving into those plank jacks. So turning around, wrist and your shoulder is in line. And you're going out, in, out, in. Every time you go in is one, that's four, five. You can keep going. You have 10 seconds to go. So what I want you to do is while you're here, even if you've repped out, I want you to keep going. Just push through the last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. So you have completed 14 minutes. And that is it, and you've done so well. The, let me catch my breath. The cool down notes are below and make sure that you subscribe to Women's Health UK on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Bye, I'll see you next time.